Buenos dias. This is our second day in Salinas. We arrived yesterday at about 1 p.m. Got to our Airbnb and we uh, went to a place called Super Maxi to get some groceries for the apartment for the next few days. Um, they didn't have really good selection of uh, like produce and things, so we want to go to this local market. Um, it's called like Salinas International. It's about a nine minute walk from where we're staying. So right now we're kind of just headed out. It's pretty empty out. It's about 10, 15 in the morning on a Monday. And you can see it's pretty, pretty dead right now. We went out to a couple places last night as well, around eight or nine o'clock. Those are two huge roosters right there. And uh, there's quite a few people out, you know, getting lunch, I mean, getting dinner, people leaving the beach, just kind of walking around at the market, stuff like that. Uh, so I don't know, maybe people might come out a little bit later here, but that's fine. It's an easy walk for us. With the stroller, it's not really great for like the sidewalks. You can see like it's a lot of pebbles and dirt and ditches and stuff. So we have to walk on the street. So it's kind of good that we don't have to worry about uh, any cars or anything at the moment. So yeah, we're gonna head to the market, see what they have, pick up a few produce items and things like that and call it a day. Got a couple dogs barking, protecting their house. And we're right across from the market here, right here to the right. See, and here we are at the market. See if we can get some fresh fruit. We want to get like some oranges, maybe some strawberries. What else do we need, baby? Some veggies. Some vegetables for Jen. Okay. So let's see what we can get. I hear a blender, so I guess uh, fresh juice is being made in the background. It's my favorite. Here we go, we got some fruits, some strawberries. Let's check out these strawberries. This one looks good. And grape. Quanto é para a hora de cuenta? Uno de cinco. Okay. Este es más dulce. Pruebe la gama. Sí. Okay. Yo quiero eso. ¿Qué está? Sí. ¿Cuánto? Ah. Uh, uno kilo. Una libre. Uno, cinco. uno libre. Okay. Eso. Okay. Hecho, hecho. All right, it looks like we get about a kilo or so for about a dollar fifty, which is a lot cheaper than the market. The market had it for about seven, eight dollars. So let's see. Uh, look like baby Jean's not happy. All right, so it looks like down here is like mostly like the actual food stalls where you can get food, cook food to eat. Not really looking for that, more so just looking for uh, some shrimp. Mariscos. Ooh. Grande. Babe. No? Oh, gracias. Hola. Hola.
Diga, chinito, ¿qué le damos? Some broccoli. Okay. This is the uh, lettuce. Uh, parsley. This one? No. I don't know. So, okay, so. Como se llama? Selga. Selga. I'm not sure exactly in English. ¿Cuánto vale? 50. 50. This is uh, 50 cents. What is that? Uh, selga. I, I don't know what it's called in, in English, but it's not bok choy. Okay. I think it means you get the broccoli. We still have some left. You do? Okay. You can and, every day, right? and that's modern, not every day, but. You got some uh, the green beans? Mm -hmm. How much? Cuanto es? Vainita. Vainitas. Vainitas. These are peas. Each piece? These are peas in here. Oh, you know that? I know. Aquí está ya. It's not green beans? No. Oh. Vainita. Looks like, looks like beans, right? Peas, I mean. I'm try it. I'm going to try. Okay. Uh, ají. Ají. See? Spicy pepper. Okay. Uh, me gustaría este. Ese, ese, la chuga, no, hay, uh, ¿cómo se llama? Es la bichuela. Bichuela? Bichuela. Ah, so it's kind of like beans, okay. Huh? Sí. Un poco bichuela, por favor. Este es spinach. Otro poquito más. Uh, how many, do you want some more? That's it? It's not a lot. That's it? Mm -hmm. Ah, it's todo, señor. Yes. ¿Cuánto es? ¿Cuánto es? Mm, así. Ahí, chuele. Sí. Feeling. It's like nothing. Sí. Yeah. Ah, 25. Yo, ah, yo tengo. Gracias. Es maracuya. All right, so we picked up some, some peas here, some green beans or something. Um, I have to say like, not too much fresh, fresh fruit and vegetables like I would imagine. Um, I know, I guess it varies from country to country. Like Peru was kinda, when we were at the local market, it was kinda like 50-50. But there's some markets like the ones in like Bogota. Uh, other countries, uh, I think Brazil, they have really good markets of really fresh food, fresh fruit, fresh vegetables, so clean, you know, way better than what we get back home and way cheaper too. So for the small amount, we paid 25 cents. For those grapes, it was a dollar fifty. Let's keep going, see what else they have. Kind of like other little knickknacks, clothes, things for the house. Alberjitas. 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 That depends how much you want to see. Tell them when to stop. You want some more? Un poco más. Está bien. ¿Cuánto es, señor? 75 centavos. I'll put it in here. Ah, gracias, señor. That cauliflower. I think we also have a, that big cabbage at home, too. To cook that. 
Oh, look at that chicken. Wow. I'm still on the fence about like buying meat from markets like this. A lot of times they're not refrigerated enough, so you never know really uh, what you're getting. Oh, the chicken still have the head on it. It's a little bit much for me. I got this cat just chilling. So yeah, I usually just buy like the meat from like an actual real grocery market, uh, just because I know it's refrigerated and um, it's a lot more sanitary. I'm not sure with the meat here, like how properly they take care of it, if it's room temperature or what. So kind of stay away from it. Hola, buenos dias. You want one of these? This one? So you want Mas grande. Too small. It is mas grande. No. It's avocado. Let's see. Oh yeah, maybe it's a little different, but mm. Let's see, this is one of big or more bigger? Yeah, more bigger. How much is this? Mascara. <laughs> Let's see. As how much is it? It doesn't matter. It's not gonna be expensive. Let's see. Uh, it's big old. What do you want to do with this? White, like wash clothes? Yes. Oh, uh, okay. This one? This one? Mm. Okay. Which color you want? Different color or? Then the auto color? Or it's auto? So maybe uh, this one looks the best. Yeah. Okay. Quanto é, senhorita? Uma cinquenta. Dala fifty. Ah. Gracias. Sim. Gracias, senhorita. Tchim, tchim. Can it fit? You need me to carry it. Uh, so you think I'm probably going to uh, algo más mercado cerca de aquí? Algo más caro. Uh, otra uh, mercado. Uh, ¿Cómo oh, es? Uh, sí, supermercado o. Um, el libertad. Libertad. Eh, sí, libertad. Ah. Uh, eh, Aventura. ¿Es uh, lejos o es cerca? Mm, sí, es lejos. ¿Para caminando? No. No, no, a uh, taxi. Ah, taxi. ah, ok, ok. De ahí el que podría llegar caminando es al Cevichelante. Cevichelante. Ah, o sea, solamente a uh, mariscos. No, así se llama. Ah, oh, ok, ok. Cevichelante, pero también es un mercado. Cevichelante, ah, sí. Ese queda más abajo y si podría llegar caminando, usted coge el malecón y ahí es. Sí. Uh, ¿Podría escribirlo para mí? Así es. She says another market kind of close. Maybe we can check that out. Yeah. Well, I think she said, um, well, she's typing it right now. We'll see. Aquí uh, llega. Aquí es Cevichelandia. Uh-huh. Sí, sí, sí. Usted para recorrer todo para allá de este lado. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to go to Cevichelandia. 
Uh, 23 uh, caminando. Ok. Sí, sí puede llegar, ahí sí puede llegar. Y ahí ah. en el malecón se encuentra todo. Tú tienes más restaurantes y... Sí, hay que ver ahí. Las dos frutas. Sí, sí. Ah, ok, ok. ¿Es mejor? ¿Es, mm, es como para pelicones. O sea, ok. Uh -huh. Ok. Gracias, señorita. Ya. Buenas tardes, día. Okay, so as you can see, we're headed out. Um, only got a few things. Not exactly what we were hoping for. Because one thing I love about coming to like Latin America, a lot of times you get these really good fruits and vegetables for really cheap, really good quality, without all the pesticides and stuff that you have in the US. Um, so kind of disappointed that we've been to quite a few places and haven't been able to really achieve that. Like not even oranges like usually the oranges are not looking that great here i think i got a couple that looked decent yesterday from one of the stores but that's really it and there's a very small selection of like strawberries raspberries blueberries things like that um so yeah it's been kind of hard so it's gonna be hard to be here for a month and not able to get fruit because i eat a ton of fruit a day back home so hopefully we can come across something else within the next couple of days they can kind of give us what we're looking for if not, then you gotta just suck it up and just eat with what, whatever we have. But yeah, uh, that's it for the Mercado. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Catch you on the next one.